the agents of Blackstone Fortress. Yes, we're back once more in the Blackstone Fortress. We've left the mirrored city behind for a week or so. Didn't like it. No, it was a silly place. <laughs> this is a silly place. We should not go there again. And um, so we're here in the Blackstone Fortress. We're all set up. If you remember last time, you are 25 fought valiantly in close mm. quarters mm. against mm. an incursion of all sorts of horrible things. There were Urgles, there were guardsmen, I think. There were... I can't remember that. There was well. a lot of glib flesh by the end of it. Yeah, it was, and he valiantly fought down, got down Woo-hoo. to all of his wounds taken, but he managed to survive. And not it was a die. miracle of the dice, frankly. Yes, and well, here we are. So we live to fight another day. We're still on the same exploration as the previous game, so we haven't gone back to precipice in between the last session. We've still got all of our all of our uh, clues and all that kind of stuff yes. knocking around. Okay, so before we kick off, we need to start by rolling the. Uh, Destiny dice. The destiny dice. Destiny dice. Remember, Stu, you want all different numbers. All different. One, two, three, four, five. Or two, three, four, five, six would be great. Four, four three, three, and one. one we've got. Well, that's not too bad. That's okay. It's three, three dice. Three dice is good. That's three extra shots or three extra footsteps. You are twenty-five, case. So what do we do after that? We have to roll our own, our own dice, don't we? Our own dice to see how we're doing. Okay, so I'll roll for uh, twenty-five. Or uh, twenty-five first gets four, five, and six. Four, five, five and six. Nice. Rolling. Much machine gunnings. Okay, and Dank Greg. Uh, Greg, come on, Greg. I'm Greg. So he gets. Oh, six, 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 and three. Which is, if, you remember, if I remember correctly, completely irrelevant. Because yes. He doesn't have any extra. I've got a four plus, oh, and that's it. Yeah, okay. Woo! So, okay. really, we want. Stu or I would really like those sixes. Sixes are Whoa. great for you, which is why you didn't get any. <laughs> three fives are four, and then Stu, I can't reach the dice tower, so if you could do me the honours, that would be fabulous. Oh, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I'll take that. You get to keep all of them that way. I'll take that. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. oh I've got two fives now. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay. Uh, okay, two, three, four, five. So the next thing to do is unveil the initiative order, which I've laid out. And uh, so who have we got? First up is Amelin Shadow. Which is Shadigar. great because she's at the back. <laughs> Hostile group three. Hostile group three. Oh, three is over here. It's a group Rep. of guardsmen. That's me. Hostile group two. That's the Urgles. You are 25. Wow. One. Oh. And then pass four and last. Wow. Now, we can swap around with other people that were in our line of sight, can't yes. we? Mm. So we probably want to put pass four and Groot up the front somewhere. Oh, now I've forgotten. Uh, he has a unique action for his booby trap. That's what we just put him there for. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, after the battlefield has been set up, but before the first turn of combat begins, I can make a move action and then take a booby trap action. Booby trap. And I do not have to be activated and no activation dice are spent. Ah. So I will quickly move him. I'll just go one to there. I'll stick a booby trap down. Ooh. We think it's that one, so okay. I'll put it there. Okay. There we go. No, I can never quite remember when this one is. Inferno. Uh, Power Spawn can take an action once per activation phase, place an Inferno marker in up to two empty hexes that are visible and adjacent to That's each other. That's during your activation phase. Which is so later, you use it? a dice. So what you'll be able to do is you can oh, move out, you can put turn. a couple of flamer things there, oh, yeah. and then they'll have to run through it. We did. Okay. Or you can put them there if you want to, because then mm. they really have to come I through. So. I okay, so do we want to change the order at all before we crash well, on? Well, I guess if, if you can do your laying down of fire, like the ones right at the back there, it's probably worth swapping with at least... Somebody, if you can lay down fire for them to run into. Yeah, because they'll yeah. activate. Well, actually, they activate just before. So me, should so. we should we swap Pius Vaughan with Amelin Shadow? What's it? We should swap with Dirk, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, if you want to, we could do that. Or, or we could swap it with the uh, with the group. Really, to be honest, I don't think it makes too much odds. No, I suppose you can go and do another bomb. I could. Uh, yes, I could plant another bomb over the other yes, side here. Yeah. So okay, so because yeah. right. three will do theirs and then two, yeah. So it's probably better that I go. Okay, so we can we can cut the we can cut that out and then you can just cut okay. it back to where we. Well, it can depends. Sometimes the decision making process is is even sometimes I leave it in. True, sometimes true. Yeah, it depends. If, if you think sometimes it, some annoying twat says, "Oh, you can cut that bit out." I don't want to. <laughs> so we're going to swap around Amelin Shadow. Is that Shadow? Shadow Guide. Guide. Shadow We're going Guide. to swap Shadow Guide and Pius Vaughan over, aren't we? Yes. You can do that without rolling any, sacrificing any dice. No, as long as you've got line of sight. So there we go. I don't think it's worth sacrificing the dice. No, at no. This point. Not at this stage in the game. Okay, so the game opens up with Pius Vaughan first on the list. So, Stu, over to you. Uh, for the cost of four plus, I can 
Once per activation phase, place an Inferno marker in up to two empty hexes that are visible to Pious Vaughan and adjacent to each other. When an explorer or hostile enters a hex with an Inferno marker, make a uh, attack roll against it that ignores <coughs> cover. Remove them next time Pious Vaughan is activated or if she's taken out of action. Oh, right. Cool. So, yeah. so that's your first use of dice. R. Okay, so that's one of your fours. So yeah, now you've got three fives, fives ready to go. Hmm. Hmm. Chain blade's no good, because that needs to be straight away. Yeah, Can't yeah. use cleansing flames. Um, What's the range on your attack? Uh, four plus is a d6. Two to three is ideal, and that's a d12. So you're going to have to move. So what's your movement? Because you could use one three. dice to go one, two, three, and then you've got two dice to go yeah. one, two, three on those guys. Yeah. It looks, seems like a reasonable t uh, choice, I think. So... Uh, Spend a five to move three. So what's that? Uh, one, two, three. Burden nation. And then I can use the Vindicator Flamer, which is one plus. I handily put three on this hex so you can shoot it. Oh, very handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what dice do you need for the Vindicator a Flamer? D D12, please. Is it one for each, isn't it? It's, uh, you hit all targets on the same hex, don't you? Mm, I think so. Yep. Ignore cover and make an attack roll against each other hostile in the same hex as the target. There's actually no cover on this square. It's quite good. Ooh, I don't cool. know how many can shoot straight down the end so if there's any left alive. <laughs> if I attack that one on the right first. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, so which one are you shooting at? This one? The, yeah. The one with three on, very helpfully. Oh, oh so that's one guardsman dead? And Ooh. then I can make attack rolls against each other hostile in the same hex. So that's that one. Oh, no, nothing. Miss. The other one. That's another one dead. Oh. No, this one actually I think is the captain. I think oh, it so looks like it. So he, he, would he, he have, have more three, hit points? Yeah, well, he only has one more, which should be still be enough to kill him. So we'll take Might as well take him off. Yeah. Although maybe we'll do what we do. We'll do it. We'll do it proper Warhammer style. And if there's a chance to take somebody else off, we'll take somebody else. The lead is always left at the end, isn't he? It's always more heroic if the leader's left to yes, last. Yeah. At okay. Slightly better. So you've now got another shot, haven't you? Because that's. Um, yeah, that was that one. Yeah. So you could do it again, and you probably want to shoot at this hex this time because there's mm. two people there. Yep, makes sense. So I'll attack the one in the front at the moment. Ooh. Burn and aided. Was that a. It was a, a double. A double, goodness me. And. Oh, nothing. and then nothing. Nothing, okay. Well, that was a. Pretty good success rate. Not bad. Really. So now he's got um, got a roll for his inspiration. 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 Okay, okay so, so you need a d20. So you've done. Uh, they, they, they've got two wounds, haven't they? I think. Yeah. Yeah. The wounds. guardsmen each have two wounds. So that's six. Six or below. No. Nineteen. Nineteen. Close. That's n not six or below. Okay. So that's next eight. up, it's up to um, hostile group number three. Hostile group three. So that's these guardsmen over here. Okay, so now we're on to the guards, man. Yeah, okay, I think Pete, you've got the card over there. Which I have the card, the so AI Stu, thing. you've got the dice between us. We can make magic happen. So we'll start. Oh, we'll start with the dude at the front who's got a. Um, the boss. He's the boss. Mm -hmm. So he is in. Well, at the moment he's in, not in cover, but he's hidden. So I can't see there, Kenny. Roll the dice, Stu. D twenty. D twenty. D twenty. Five. Five. That's a sneak. So what sneak do, Robin? Ah. Gosh, You've got the rules. You didn't tell me I was going to be needed as well. I was <laughs> just hoping to have a kip in the corner. I was just going to go home. <laughs> I am home. Um, oh no! Sneak. Make a move that ends as close as possible to an explorer without entering a hex that is visible to any explorers. So, not going very far. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, proceed with caution, men. Okay, so next dude, this, this guy's got a flamer. So, roll its due. There we go, all 18, which is charge from hidden. So what's the charge, Robin? Charge, move towards the closest explorer, then attack an explorer that is adjacent and visible to this hostile. Oh dear. If there are no explorers adjacent and visible to this hostile, move towards the closest explorer a second time. So he's basically going to run down there. So he's got a move of one, two. Oh, he's only moves two, okay. Only moves two, though. So he's not going to blow himself. Scar, so he has a flavour, though, which has a range of two to three. Oh, okay. Which is, um, is a D12. Mm -hmm. Just the one D twelve. D best kind of rolling stew. <laughs> so that's so the charge is just a move and an attack. It's nothing else. 
That's, That's right. not onslaught. Onslaught is different, isn't it? Onslaught's onslaught where they do it multiple is, times. Uh, attack. They attack again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're off for the next one in the list, Stu. This guy's got a las gun and a, a, a club of some kind. 13. 13. So 13 is charge as well. So he moves 1, 2, and does he move again if he can't attack? If he can't attack, he moves again. Okay, but he does have a pistol and a melee weapon, which has a range of 2 to 3. So he can shoot Greg, but it is a d6 this time. Okay. Uh, one another miss, please. Just the one, Stu. Eee, well done. Okay, next guy, he also has a pistol and a hand hand weapon. So roll away. D20. Oh, sorry, that's not, a, that's not a pistol. 15. Oh, actually, that's a pistol. <laughs> 15. So 15 is charge. So he can't actually get to me, though, because he goes 1, 2 to there. He can shoot, though. Is the hex blocked? It is. Cause, oh, no, because there they can be. There can be three. There can be three, aren't there? So he can go 1, 2 to there. Yeah. And then he can shoot at Kroot. Shoot the Kroot. So it's uh, between 2 and 3 is a d6. Shoot Kroot. Wow. Well, fuck your rolls. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good job. We put these dice without any other, other <laughs> symbols on them at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last guy, who just has the last gun, roll a d20 for him. Five. Five. So he's going to sneak. So he's just going to... Pull forwards a little. I noticed the leader and the guy with the long range weapons just yeah. standing back whilst like, the three blokes were. We'll sneak up on them. You bum rush them. Like, oh, <laughs> really? We said sneak up on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We said sneak up where you are for the love It's of just God. like when we role play. Right, yeah. This is the plan. We're going to go up to the corner Charge! and sneak around. <laughs> yes, everybody watches us three go around running around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that is uh, hostile group number three, mm -hmm. and now it's time for Croot Boy to do his bit. So I will do the booby trap in a minute. Oh, the booby trap is a six plus, so I can I can use the booby trap move, a little bit more. You? So you might. It depends what you're going to do. I was thinking you could booby trap the Urgle corridor. I could. I could take a pot shot first, then I could move, yeah. and then I could place a booby trap. Yeah. So I might as well do that. I'll use uh, one of my sixes, which seems a bit of a waste, but I'll use one to shoot at uh, one of these guardsmen down here. Uh, range two to three, it is a D12. Oh, nice. Come on, quick time. Oh, one wound. One wound. So one of them takes a wound. And then I'll use another six. Well, I'll use a three to move. And then I'll use a six to place another bomb. Uh, then you're going to spin on your heel and shoot the other cultists. I might as well, actually. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> So I'll just take a pot shot at the leader bloke all the way up the other end. So on a 4+, plus, it is just a uh, D8. Hey, there's a wound on him. And that's the boss. So I think he's got an extra wound. boss man. He's got an extra wound, I can't remember. Traitor Guardsman. Add one wound to the value of a Traitor Guardsman Sergeant, yeah. So, okay. Inspiration? Uh, I didn't kill anyone, um, so I don't get to roll inspiration, sadly. It's harsh. So now we're on to hostile group number two, which is the Urgles, Urgles. over here. Urgles. Urgles. Maybe they didn't notice. Well, they might not have done. They might roll low. Mm. It's a long, you know, it's a long corridor. They're around mm. the corner. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. So weapons malfunction, no problem, nothing to see here. So go for it, <laughs> Stu, roll for the first one. A six. So they are hidden at the moment, so they sneak. Sneak. Ooh. So he's just going to go, uh -oh, to there. You quite cleverly got in the line of fight, line of sight there, otherwise they could have come right, they could have come much closer. That's a good point, yeah, I yeah. obviously did that on purpose. Absolutely. <clears throat> right, Stu, roll for the next one. Don't high numbers. Eleven. Ooh, it's charge. <laughs> okay, so you can move three. One, two, three. Now he can't attack, so he moves again. He moves again, blows himself to the middle of <coughs> So he does booby the... He, he does booby the trap. <laughs> <laughs> he does trigger the booby trap. So the booby trap marker, um, he suffers one grievous wound and is stunned, but a grievous wound's enough to kill him. Yeah. So he goes, and the target goes as well. Hmm. Excellent. And then roll for the last one, Stu. Don't get 20. Two. Two. Awesome. Hold. So what's hold, Robin? Hold. Hold. D6. 
do nothing. Excellent. Mm. Do cool. So that's hostile group two out of the way, and now on to mighty explosion. I thought, yeah. you know what? I'm going to stay I'm, here. I'm, I'm okay <laughs> here. Actually, it's quite comfy here. Okay, so Ura 25's turn. So I'm going to have to use a. Oh, I could use one of the uh, fate dice. Shall I use the one from our fate dice? Oh, to yeah, move I forward? Those. yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, so I shall use one of the ones from the fate dice pool to move Ura 25. Mm-mm. Just one to there. And then he's just going to start blowing all of those guardsmen to smithereens, I think. It's okay. probably. Or do I use another dice and move to here and start taking these guys out? Well, I'm going to do that, but you could do that too. I'm just it trying to see. Really these guys are closest. They're probably going to burninate themselves no, to death. Or some of them that are going to burninate the themselves to death. Uh, aren't that's they? a good point, yeah. So I'll use, yeah. I'll use a four as well from Ur 25s to uh, stomp round one more to there. So now I've got two dice left to shoot at these poor little guardsmen here. So we use a five. Five plus. You say poor guardsmen. I suppose they are. They've made some poor life choices. They I have. Think, yeah. yeah, they just bought into the uh, propaganda. Yeah. They thought they were going to be saved, but yeah. not so much. Nobody ever thinks of the fa- about the family of the henchmen. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so he could use his assault cannon, which means as I'm using a five plus, which is a four plus uh, use of the weapon, he gets a D12, so I get two of them. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, just a wound. I may as well wound the uh, the guardsman who's already wounded, which kills him. I'll kill this guy off. Mm. You're not meant to roll them twice, by the way. Sorry? You're not meant to roll them together, because if you roll them together, if you get a one and a crit, it, it depends on what order you... Oh, I see, yeah, 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 true. So I'll do it again. This time I've got a six. I won't roll them all together this time. You get three, you do get three. Yeah. You do get three with a six plus. I will roll them one at a time, because as Robin's pointed out, you... Uh, it might skew the result in some way, so I'll start blasting away. I'll shoot at the guy with the flamer first. Nice. Oh, dead. dead and then there's one poor guy left who's taking the rest of all the rounds. And he's dead too. Black, 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 black. So they've all just been wiped out in a hail of bullets, and the guy's sneaking around the corner here thinking. Maybe we'll stay here. Yeah. Maybe we'll stay here. No, you know why I said to stay here. <laughs> That's why I said, sneak up on them. <laughs> he said to the goblets of flesh <laughs> smeared on the walls. So I'll roll for his inspiration. It's going to be literally nothing left for me to do. Thirteen. Don't <laughs> so it's my turn. Nothing for you. There's loads left still. Tons and tons. That's me done. So who's next up? It I'll is the hostile group. group. One. The first thing we have to do is a reinforcement roll. Reinforcements! So Why do we have to do reinforcements? Because there's half, some of them are dead. Oh, I see, right, so, yes. So yeah, we've roll the 20 stew. Mm-hmm. I think we don't want low, do we? We don't want low. Big numbers. 15, 15. that's nothing happens. Excellent. So okay. we don't get any reinforcements. Okay. So now we roll for their reaction. So we'll roll for, um, roll for one of the guys at the back first. Three. 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 He, uh, he... They are visible. So engage, adjacent to a visible explorer, in cover, close, range to the... Oh, so they're other, because they're not close, they're not in cover, and they're not engaged. So they count as other, and we've got a three, which is advance. They're not engaged. To be honest, when you are a cult, it's hard to get anybody to commit. Yeah, yeah. So, what's in, what's advance, Robin? Advance. Advance. Just... Move towards the closest explorer and burn yourself horribly in the flames. Oh no, that bit's not on here, but that's, just, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so he moves two, so one of the guys at the back there can move forward two spaces they into can. the fiery death. Which one? This one? Either one. One. They two. can attack the closest explorer that is in range of invisible, should they still be alive. Okay. <laughs> so, so what happens, Stu? Uh, uh, hostile enters a hex and inferno marker. Make a D8 attack roll against it. Nice. D8. He might not burn Nate himself to death. He does he not, not, in fact. Ah. But those tokens do stay there, so everybody wants to come through. It's going to get the same. Uh, okay, well, so, that's he, quite good. so he can it's make an attack bombs. now against um, against Pius Vaughan, can't he? Uh, yes, it attacks the nearest. Okay, so it's a D6, Stu. Closest explorer. D6. Nothing. 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 Excellent. Excellent. So then roll for the next guardsman who's at the back there. D20 again. Two. A two. He's um, the same advance as well, so he moves forward two into the fiery pits. Which one was it? Uh, the other one at the back. One. one, two... Another D8. Another so D8. It's interesting that the grey see a contrast paint. One. 
on wound. The grey city of contrast paint paints over all of the grey dice. It's brilliant, so, so they don't actually, they never hit. <laughs> That's great. Good, good tip there. <laughs> Sick of getting killed by a, a bowler, <laughs> just paint over the pixels on the dice. It's just revolutionising the game. <laughs> Okay, so that's them too, so now we need to roll for the flamer next. One. A one. A one, so that's also advance. So he's going to move... He can actually move through the fire. So he can yes, move two. so he'll go one, two, three. But he the might fire. die in the, in the fire. When they enter a hex, you can make an attack roll, so... Well, then, make your attack uh, roll. One wound. So he takes a wound as well. Ooh. Now, these one of these are a grievous. Is that not? Is that wrong? Oh, no, yeah, that, that must be... That way up. Nope. So, who's that one for? Oh, that's for the flamer guy. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah, this way. Oh, is, the other one. Oh, is that the Grievous? I think, I think the red one's the Grievous. That makes sense. So, the flamer then attacks with a range of. Well, it's a d12. Let's roll that one, see what happens. Oh, oh that's a crit. This is why I should roll the dice for the bad guys. Oh. So, is that two wounds to Stu? He, has to, he gets to... Um, oh, you got your save. It's a grievous wound, but he gets his save. Yes. Okay, so Stu's got to make a vitality roll now. If he rolls a success, he can commute his critical hit against him to an ordinary hit. If he rolls a critical success, then the whole thing's wiped out. If it wasn't a, crit if it wasn't a critical wound, then a success would just wipe out the, the wound. But uh, it is critical, right. so yeah. you can only, only turn it down one if you get a success. Here we go. No, 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 nothing. But as you've got a sweet bag of nothing, so Stu has taken a critical wound, and that, oh, is, that is not good because I don't think they can be removed. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, no, a recovery step, that's later, isn't it? I've got this raiment of the Techno Martyr. Okay, What's so in do? a recovery step or event phase, I can remove one wound counter from this explorer or turn one grievous wound on the counter on the explorer's character to a wound side. Nice, mm. nicely done. After using the card, roll the blackstone dice. If this card was used to remove one wound on a one, discard it. If it was used to turn over one grievous wound on a one to five, discard it. Mm. That's what it's for, though. Mm. That's what it's for. Okay, doke so then we're on to the last guardsman, which is the leader, the sergeant. So do you want to roll for him, Stu, and see what he does? He does a 10. He's a 10, so he aims. So what's an aim douche, Robin? Aim! Thank you. Aim, Peter, is attack the furthest explorer that is in range and visible to this hostile. This attack ignores cover. The furthest. First, I think. Furthest? No. Furthest, okay. So he's, he's going to actually go and shoot. He's going to shoot Amelin. All the way down here towards Amelin. Uh, assuming, his range, assuming he's got the range and wherever he's firing. Is, he firing a, is, he, is it the one right at the back? He's firing a pistol. So is this guy. So is that guy right at the back there right. shooting all the way down here at Amelin? Okay. I mean, the pistol does have a range for 4 plus, which well, is just a okay. D6. So, okay. so a D6. Firing at Amelin. On Amelin's. No, no, nothing. See, Hurrah. Those contrast dice again. Hurrah. Perfect. Okay, so uh, she just dodges it. Okay, so that's hostile group one out of the way. How do you rob in at the end there? Okay, well, I think I don't even need to move, do I? Uh, no, you I can see plenty of pick, juicy targets. Pick off. I'm going to have to shoot the flavour guy first because he's pretty nasty. Uh, and he hurt my friend, albeit my crazed flame throwing friend. <laughs> um, so I need to just shoot. I've got a, I've got a two. I've got, actually, I've got quite a lot of dice to choose from here. Yeah. So I'll start with. Um, I suppose I might as well start with the best attacks. I'm just going to shoot. So I'll start with this five. Um, and so Stu, if you could roll me the dice, it's basically a d12, mm -hmm. but you can re-roll it if you miss. And this is on the uh, the leader. Oh, it gets his head blown off. The flamer it was on the brap. Oh, the, sorry, the flamer it was. Flamer. Yes, you did say it. So the flamer gets his head taken off. Yep. And now I might as well have a go at the. Well, actually, I'll go at these two, because if I shoot both of these with only one wound, they're both dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. So I've got a four, so again, you can re-roll this four, if you need to. Brat, that's another one dead. <laughs> success. Just stand in the back, very calmly, click, clack, yeah. bang, click, clack, bang, click, clack, okay. bang. Okay, and now the, uh, we'll use this for Destiny 4, because you again, you can re-roll it. So, um, yeah, so. Same again, Stu. No, oh, so you can re-roll that one. I'll re-roll this one. Oh, and this is on this guy here. Bam! It's another head off. So, the, so this is this poor sergeant <laughs> yeah. left at the back. I've got two dice left, Stu, so you, but you can't re-roll these. Okay. So, so you might as well just... You can just roll this twice, um, because I've got two. I'm going to... Oh, no, I might move, I suppose, if you... Oh, there you go. Like, if, if you, you can't set up, I might move. Wow, so you just wow. took out four guards. <laughs> bam, 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 bam! And, and was that 
four wounds. Uh, that's eight wounds. Oh, no, so so eight, 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 four, so that's eight wounds, yes. Although, although, do you count the wounds because they'd all three of them had already no, taken you them? No, it's the number of wounds that they yeah. have. So nice. it's not, it's, yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to use your two. One, two, uh, three, I think I'll do. I think I'll just stand here. I can see down, sh I can see down both corridors. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, so that's a good place for her there. It's a good place for everyone there. Yeah. Though. Nice one. So, so inspiration uh, roll. It. Inspiration. So under eight, please. Nine. Oh, no, the lead has, uh, the sergeant has three wounds. Ah, so it's That's nine. Two, 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 oh, and three. Yeah, well remembered. Thank you. So nine, so I do get an inspiration point. Inspiration. Look like that. Oh, oh, oh. Just like that. Oh, so, 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 so. Right, him. Awesome. And then we go into the event phase. So that's all the activations finished, which means we now move on to the event phase. In the event phase, we have to roll a dice and check on the event table. Uh, should I just, I was just wondering, in the event phase, or oh, recovery see. step, I could use the raiment to try and remove this wound. Well, I have a Hospitalia, or Hospitalia med pack, which mm -hmm. I discarded it. Well, I have to discard it, and I can remove all wound tokens. Whereas yours is just, but yours will be a one to five to keep to so it's it's probably worth the risk but I mean, that's what we bought it for yeah but why well, if i get one or one, one to five for turning yeah, over a grievous throw, I'd throw it it's away. probably i mean that's kind of what it's for okay um i, I should be obviously be annoyed if you do but yes because it costs lots of money but um it's, it's, you've got a, you've got a three quarters 75 percent chance of not turn it over yeah now i need to roll 12, 12. so brilliant well done you we've it, we've used it so that's the event phase. No, we haven't done the event phase. That was that was Stu trying to derail the event phase. <laughs> um, so you need to now need to roll another blackstone dice. I I, kept, I Here we go. check the table. Fourteen. Fourteen. Escape chamber. The leader replaces the portal furthest from any explorers with a maglev transport escape cha chamber. It's got to be furthest from us. I think. It's got to be in one of the horns, doesn't be it? Give me that one up the end there. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, so it is going to be, it's going to be one of those two. Should I show one, two, three, four, five, six? It. So one, two, three. It's the one on the left with the urgles. Okay. Four, five, six. It's the other one. Yeah. Four. So that's the, it's other, the one. other one. So this comes in here. Hmm. Cool. Okay. So do we move on to the next round again? Have you already shuffled those up, by the way? No. Okay. Yeah, we move on to the next round. That is the end of the event phase. Okay, so it's turn two, or oh. next activation round thingy. So it's Destiny Dice. Oh. Uh, what I haven't been... What's up? That's right, I was just thinking about the Inferno markers. I think they have to come off. They, they, do, they, they come on your uh, next activation, so they would stay. If you were at the end, they would stay. Right. Okay, so we've got... We've got two ones, so that's no good, but we've got two, four, and a five. Two, four, and a five. Mm. Two, four, and a five. Now we roll the individual dice. Do you? Would you like to go first? Can I get rid of this wound at some point, or this go? Do I you, have to? You get rid of it um, by choosing to use one of my dice to make a vitality yes, roll. Yes, that's correct. Or you can use your stuff in the in the event phase. So you do have a wound. Ooh, Ooh. Six, six, and five. Avalon's roll. Oh, Ooh, rubbish. One, <laughs> one, two, and two four. And four. <sighs> Sorry. Thanks for nothing, Stu. That's all right. Mind you, I can't really complain about it because your shooting rolls were. Mm -hmm. On point, yes. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. And I'm now inspired. Yeah, Thanks for those rolls. Nice. Oh, you have to turn the card over. So you I'm need three inspired. to flip. Have you have an inspiration point. token. Um, inspiration I can't I'm sure I didn't have two. Tempting as it is to flip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ur 25. Ur 25. Oh, rubbish. One, three. One, three, and three. And four. Day. Grek. Ooh. Ooh. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. And then it's reveal all the initiative cards. So right at the very end of the line is <laughs> <laughs> I don't knock it last time. You had loads no, of dice. You shot everyone to no, pieces. That's true, I did. We're tagging someone uh -oh. on that side of the board. Uh oh, it's okay. not looking good. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, in trouble. 
there can Although be... it's one and two, and nobody's in one. And one two can stay in the corner. They could, they could reinforce. Okay, so we'll, I guess we don't want to swap anybody around, do we? That's a bit of a, it feels like a waste of a dice. The yeah. air balls, you didn't, did you actually place a bomb last time? Because you don't appear to I did. Okay. An air ball blew himself up. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Well, that <laughs> it's be not there, because it that, triggered. That would be the only thing, is whether you wanted to try and swap to the air balls to put another bomb down. Because you could put a bomb down. Which I have to roll a dice, don't I? You do have to roll and your... My, is it agility? Yeah. I've only got a d8. Now if I can let them come out. We're not going to change our order at all, so we're just going to keep things as they are. And the first one up is hostile group number one, which appears to not be very you much in attendance. Oh, oh, we've got reinforcements. Six reinforcements. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. low on me, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh bottom. Six reinforcements. Okay, this is why they're just left on the side because I knew Stu eventually wouldn't be able to help himself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah. we've turned up for the pillaging and Actually, carnage. I better check where they because I don't think they do just to reinforce in the same place. I've got a feeling they do something horrible like come in the nearest portal, which is right behind them. Yeah, never to the. Th oh, yeah, actually, that is nearest to Pius, isn't it? Yeah. Reinforcements must be deployed adjacent to a portal and as close as possible to another hostile from their group that is already on the battlefield. If there are no hostiles from their group on the battlefield because they will be slain, deploy the hostile adjacent to a portal and as close as possible to an explorer. So that is here. So basically, they go here. They all appear here, right there. Here. I'm going to put them all together. Makes sense. So you can make jam out of them, Stu. Yeah, I've got two sixes to Ooh. use my cleansing flames, you actually. Like jam. <laughs> Now, do they get to activate now? Well, that's... Well, I just closed the book. Stupidly. <laughs> After each hostile deployed, they either attack the closest explorer that is visible to them and within range of their weapons, or move towards the closest explorer if no explorers are visible to them. So they're basically all going to shoot. They're all going to shoot at Stu now. <laughs> do they not want to walk forward into the infernos? That would be... No. No. Sadly not. No. Although the flamer does, because the flamer doesn't have a range of four. So, so he'll want to move up. What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> You're not angry, are you? You just don't remember. That was just, that was just come straight out of my parenting book. What did I just say? Don't hit your brother. So Mr. Flamer doesn't have range to uh, to shoot at um, Pious Fawn, so he's going to run forward through the flaming conflagration. So I'm sure only... my highly flammable torch will be just fine if <laughs> I run through the flames. So he only moves two, so he's going to move one, one two, four. One, two, stand right in it. <sighs> So the flamer walks into the flames and you have to roll attack dice. D8. Dice. D8. D8 attack dice. D8 attack dice. One wow. just takes a wound. wound. Uh, One he idiot. hasn't gotten it, of course. He ought to blow up. He should, really. <laughs> Kaboom! But he doesn't attack. Although you think if you were operating some form of flame machinery and f fuel, it would be well insulated. Well, you say that, you're lucky he hasn't destroyed it because they do say fight fire with fire, don't they? That is mm. true. So, so everybody else is a range of four. Now, how many las guns do we have in there, Robin? How many las guns we have? Dos las guns. So two las guns. They roll a d8, and everybody else rolls a d6. So we've got two d8s and three two d6. So you want to roll? Have we done together? I don't see why not. Uh, I can't think of any reason. Well, you might die, I suppose. Well, yeah. True. But so that's going to happen if you're on one at a time. It would just be slow. Where well, you could actually, because you do the vitality rolls each one. I'm just trying to actually make a difference. I don't know that it will. I don't think it will. Like, we'll roll and see. You might yeah. just miss with them all if we're lucky. Oh, two wounds and a critical. Yep. Okay, so you need to make some vitality rolls. Mm hmm. Monsieur Pincushion. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry, dude. Vitality roll. Okay, so Where's for the one? regular wound. No, no, no that's no, a wound. One wound. For the second wound. No, no, that's no. another wound. Another and then we've got a grievous wound grievous, as well. General grievous wound. Oh, oh yes. yes! So yes, that just uh, turns into a normal, or is that gone? I think that's I think that's gone. Yes, because if you rolled a said. defense, yeah, then gone. it turns it from a grievous yeah, to a regular. So it's gone. So you've Sweet. got two, so you've got you, don't, two you can keep those dice. I believe you can keep those dice, but next when you've used them, you don't, they get covered over. Do you want to check? Well, it doesn't say. Uh, uh, there was a big discussion about it on Facebook. Oh, okay. The general feeling was that that's what happened. But obviously, if you want to make it harder... The other no. way. We might as well keep them. Yeah, Let's not make this harder for ourselves. We just got a lot harder. If, if you've got an opinion on that, do comment in the comments below. I, mean, I think that's the way we're going to play it. Well, it is the way we're going to play it. So Stu can still use those dice, but he doesn't get them back next turn. If he doesn't, unless he heals. But you've got a nice to heal raiment of the Techno Martyr, mm. or I could come and use my med pack, which will just wipe them all. Ooh, we might have to do that in a minute. Mm. We'll see how we get on, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's those guys back. So that's group one out of the way. So now it moves on to group two. Which is the Urgles. Do so they reinforce as well because they've lost one? Yes. We do need to roll for them. So do we not get a really high? Really high. Or six. six. That's fine. Okay, fine. we're okay. 
Right, so they're still hidden, so roll AD20 for the first one that's closest to us. Two. Two. So he just holds. Excellent, that's what we want. And the other guy, who's a bit further away... Ooh. 20. 20, okay, so that's a rush. <laughs> that rush. Raging so attack. rush is move towards the closest explorer, then take a charge action. So he's going to go one, two, three, mm. and then he does a charge. Which is run and attack, isn't it? Basically. So he's going to go down one, two like again. So he's like next to, custard. He's next yeah, to yeah, Iron Groot. <laughs> so I want to do an Urgle animation now. <laughs> <laughs> so Frenzy, when an Urgle attacks, make three attack rolls. Carry each attack one at a time, one after the other. The target chosen for the second and third attacks must either be the same or in the same hex. So they're all going to go on poor old Grooty Boy. Mm. So you probably can roll 3d8s in one go. It'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be okay. <laughs> Oh god! I should stop rolling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so there's two grievous wounds. So I've got to roll two vitality dice, which are d8s. Yes. And I need yeah, two critical crits again. Really. Get... No one. So I've got. So one is a crit. one critical and one grievous. That's well, one grievous and one regular wound. I was thinking this is going really well. We're going to clear out this level really quick. Mm, that was are really nasty. And then it's gone really horribly badly wrong. So I've taken a grievous and a regular. Ouch. Oh, it's good job, Hostel. Oh, that's group two. That's group, that's group two, two. So now it's time for a uh, payback. Payback time, yes. So you presumably can't mm. put a bomb in the square that the Urgle was already in. Yes, it can't contain any explorers, hostiles, or other right. booby trap markers. But I can kill him and then put another booby trap down for the last for the next yep. guy to come well, on. Well, you can actually move back one and put it down if you wanted. I could possibly, but it's I might as well just kill, kill him. him. I might as well just kill him, I think. Because yeah, yeah. I've got my crew rifle, okay. um, or I've got my pistol and rifle. Okay. So I'll use my pistol and rifle attack, it. which is a 4 plus, and that's 2 D8s. Oh, nice. That's one wound on him. One wound. You've got the counters, I'm afraid. One wound there. And then I'll do the same again with my 5. This doesn't really make much difference. Another wound. So he's got three wounds, isn't he? He has three, so that's one wound on him again. Oh, uh, uh, okay, so I've got a three and a six left. Or I could use a four from over there, couldn't I? Absolutely. Go for it. I might as well use one of the fours from the Destiny Pool and do the same thing again. One more wound, come on. Yes! It's fried Urgle. That finally kills the Urgle. Sliced and diced. Tastes like chicken. And then I will use my six to place another depth charge bomby type thing okay. right there. And I've got a three, which is the crew rifle. I might as well shoot at the flamer well, guy try and heal. over that end. Oh, I could try and heal, couldn't I? So I'll use my final three to do a vitality roll to try and get rid of my wound count because I have a grievous and a regular wound. No. Oh, that was a rubbish idea. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, it? yeah. Sorry. I don't know why I even thought about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Grek out the way. So now it's on to Ur 25. Okay. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Now he can do Overwatch, can't he? He could do Overwatch. If you don't use all your dice, he can Overwatch, yeah. So he's got a 1 and 2 3s. Right. So none of his abilities. He can only use the base ability anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just wondering if I just use his. put him uh, on Overwatch. <laughs> yeah. So I'll leave the two twos here from Ur 25, ready to. Stay down that corridor and shoot anybody that happens to walk around the corner, and then we'll go over to Pius Vaughan's turn. Okay, so activation, I have to remove these two Inferno markers. And then you can put them back down again. <laughs> oh no, you have to use, uh, have to use you a have dice to, for dice that. It's probably not worth it. I should shoot these guys. You've got sixes, haven't you? I have. Yeah, so what's the range, the what's the range of three? Three? So I'll use the two from the Destiny Pool to move Destiny. closer. Because I want to be within a range of two or three for the so best attacks. One to there. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to stop there if you go that way, but that's fine because that's what you the, want within, to do anyway. Yeah. yeah, and I get a clear line of sight yeah. both to of both of those. And if I went here, I'd have to stop anyway because I'd still be yeah. adjacent, presumably. Here you would. would, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I suppose, yes, I suppose I could go there because I've started there. Didn't I? Yeah. Anyway, so that's the two from the destiny. I don't think it makes much difference, Paul. 
Then I've got a five and a six and a six. You might as well um, use the sixes first, because if you manage to kill everybody in those two hexes, you could use the five on him. Yeah, and if you kill True. everybody in this hex, then you will become be inspired. Become inspired. So if I use the Pound first sparring. six to make a cleansing flame attack on three in that one, and that's 2d12. Ouch. And you can attack everybody in the square, can't you? With 2d12. So yeah. Well, it Ouch. says... It, uh, Torrent, ignore cover for the Vindicator Flamer and Cleansing Flames attack, and make an attack roll against each other hostile yeah, in yeah. the same hex as the target. Yeah. I think so that's the Torrent each thing, okay. which is for only on those No, two. Vindicator Flame or Cleansing Flames. Yeah, they both have it. Yeah. Yeah. So on the uh, one of the guys at the front there, uh, two, two wounds, that's enough to kill one. One down. Uh, so, but it's a single cleansing flame weapon action. Make an attack action against roll against each hostile in the same. Oh, right, sorry, yes. So, so th that so was one attack you want action. A grievous, one. or at least, or two triangles. You want oh, yeah, basically okay. two, a sum of oh, two triangles mm. across the two, two two dice rolls. And if you do it, if you do it for both, you'll be inspired. So it's yes. very exciting. It's not happened yet. So the guy with the pistol and the close combat weapon next, I guess. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Double burn related. Uh, so now just the last gun, dude. So you want two, you want triangles, two triangles in some form. Two triangles in some form. Oh yes! Three triangles. Oh, oh, yeah. So you've killed three. And you And inspire. you have inspired. Okay, so, so you turn your card over basically. I've got a five and a six still to yeah, use. Wow. Uh, and presumably I have to Whoa. I have to replace my He's got extra dice extra dice things. <laughs> well, all of the attacks have gone up. By yeah, they have. Got Your cleansing flames hasn't been really well. Now works at a five oh. plus, which yeah. is handy. <laughs> so you have a five and a six left. Yeah, yeah. 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 they've all the vindicated flame has still won. But the chain blade has gone down to three oh, rather yeah. than four. The cleansing flames has gone down to five mm. rather than six, and the flamer has better, better attacks. Isn't it? I wow. think. because it's <laughs> it was d six d twelve d six, and now it's d eight for all of them. Wow, double d eight. So that's better. I should just put. Remind me, I didn't roll for my inspiration for for Greg, so I'm just going to roll it. Oh, you killed the ergle. I did you? kill the ergle. Three. Oh, that is enough. That's enough. Yeah, it's well, enough inspired. because I'm not inspired. Uh, I'm not inspired but Greg, uh, Greg, oh, we get double Greg gets double because he has no. Um, and they have three. He wounds. has no secret agendas at all, and they are three wounds. So, so you're, yes, you're there. To so double I get one inspiration wow. for him as well. Come on, this is the time. We're all going to inspire. We're all get inspired. Yeah. It's inspiring times. So, Stu, you've still got a five and a six left on yours. Okay. You can now use the six on those two blokes at the back there. I could. Uh, yes, it makes most sense to do that, I suppose. It does. Yeah. Um, you can actually, you might get to use your inspiration points for other things. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so if I use the six to make another cleansing flame attack on these two here. Right. First attack the guy with the... Is it the last gun? Uh, yeah, just the last gun. Oh, also burninated to death. <laughs> and then the last guy who's the leader. So you do need you a, need a Grievous on this one. Okay. Oh no, oh, just yeah, two, two wounds. Two. Just. Just the two. Just the two. Just wiped out an entire war band of guardsmen. <laughs> Hello, we've come to... Ah, burning <laughs> flames of death! Have you still got a dice left? You? I've you got do. a dice left, so... Wow. So I could. Guy, this guy here looks like he needs to get burninated. Yeah. Well, I could do or a chain could... blade attack on him. <laughs> yeah, go on, chain <laughs> blade. Because there's no yeah. one else in his target. Well, you could shoot the leader again. Yeah. But I think chain blading someone to death after burning all of his mates is much more rock and roll. <laughs> um, both, well, he's got two. Or, uh, yeah. No, I can't use this at this point to heal, can I? Yeah. Uh, chain blading's uh, so much more rock and roll. It is, actually, I <laughs> know. Plus, Amelin can shoot that guy at the back. That's true. Okay, I will chain blade on a five, which is now under inspiration two d eight. Chain blade. Choppinated him up to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pass you one. Have the last game. emperor into your life. No, so they die. <laughs> inspiration. You. Uh, you yes. <laughs> You've <laughs> killed, very. killed four. Four, so that's four, eight. So that's eight. So you've got to run. Eight. No, five. That's five. 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 That's five. ten. Oh, yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right. yeah. So you've got uh, under, under And ten. did any of them have... Ten or under. Okay. No. You didn't kill the leader. Another four. point. And another point. So, so you can use two. those for things like you can take a search action which and get extra architect if mm. you've got three. 
you can attempt to gamble it without spending an activation dice, so we can swap mm. people over with that. Oh, handy. Or if you just use one, you can re-roll an action dice. And you're spending them to do that, presumably. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But, but you don't need for anything else now. Here How long does inspiration last? It, it lasts until, basically until we go back to Precipice. Oh. Unless you've got the thing, some things like mine, I have to have this, the remnants of the full discovery card. And if, while I've got that, I've always inspired. Nice. Mm. Uh, that's my go. If you have three inspiration points, you can just spend those you and become inspired. Become inspired, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's uh, gr- that's Pius Vaughan having burninated the village. And now we're on Let's group burn. three, which is over here. We were so looking for a low dice roll. No, a high dice roll at this point. Well, a nice high dice roll. Uh, anything, 18. Four above. is Anything above five really is great. 12. Well, that'll do. So there is no reinforcements for no. these two. So now we've got to roll a d20 for the first guy with the las gun see what he does. It's just stay. Ten. No, that's, not, no. that's not staying. Ten. So that is advance. So he's going to advance. He's going to go one, two, and your ur twenty five. Then you go mm. Overwatch dice. Now you have two Overwatch dice, but you can only use one against this guy. But if you, I guess, you use the other one against somebody else. Well, the other guy might come around the corner. Exactly. If this guy gets reduced to squishy mess. Yep. Okay. So I just roll a single d twelve on this one because it's a two, and my Mark One Assault Cannon only has one, four, or six. Yeah. <laughs> so he blows him to pieces. Yes. And then roll again, Stu, for the other guy and see what he decides is a good idea. Twenty. Ooh. He is rushing. So he goes one, two. Now can I now immediately interrupt, can't I? Yes. So I'm going to then at that point shoot and eight him. I hope you can get, like hopefully I can get another one. No, no, missed it. Okay. It's a bad day at work for these So he has to move another two. One, two. <laughs> onto the mine! <laughs> knew, Blows himself to pieces. I should have hidden. <laughs> he's feeling really heroic. He's running through a hail of fire, unscathed, and then he treads on second. He only hears this beep, 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 beep. There we go. Right, so he's dead as well. So group three is no more also. And that's the end of that one. So then we move on to Amalyn last. Well, you seem to have done most of the hard work. Turn around, shoot the leader in the head, and then go and open around, and then shoot the leader. And the le- so, do you want to use your ones first because yes. they'll disappear? Yes. Okay. Long rifle. So, what's the one? A one is just a long rifle, just one plus. So you can't re-roll it. So it's um, it's four plus. So it's d twelve, but you can't re-roll it. D12. Okay. So you can use two dice on that though, or you could just roll it once oh. and blow his brains out. Nicely done, Stu. Okay, Good now rolling there. I could come to. I can move up to Stu so that I can use the med pack on him, and that will clear off three of his. That will clear off three of his. Um, you may as well because if the Urgle comes along, um, he's just going to blow himself to pieces. Okay, so that's everybody dead. Um, I've got. I've got three. Three or four. Did you? I've got four dice left, actually, because I've got there's a destiny dice oh, left yeah. as well. Very good point. So I will go one, two, three. This must be in this hex. So you have to you have to be on it. One to there, you do have to be on it. So that's Were two you going to heal me at some two point? Dice on the way I will come back past with my spell. Okay. I've got a four here to do exploration. So I will explore and take the top card of the discovery deck, and I have got Archaeotech one. Ooh. Oh, that was exciting. And then with mean, the final dice, I should just move back one, two, three to there. Adjacent so, to Stu. So I'm adjacent to Stu, so I can give you the mid pack in the forthcoming event phase, and that is now gone, yes. Where it goes, so that mean does that mean we can't get reinforcements for that group? Uh, no. So that's that. So we then move into the event phase. Event time. There's probably no point in you using your Technomart thing for, if I'm going to hospitalise you. So okay. I'll hospi- I'm going to hospitalise you. <laughs> He's already pretty hospitalised. I'm going to hospitalise you, Stu. So that's and that's the, using the med pack, which basically enables you to clear all wound counters. Lovely. From the Explorer. So that one so use none of them thing. are grievous. It's a one use thing. None of them are grievous, which is perhaps an error. But uh, actually, you've got grievous ones there. I have got grievous ones, yeah. Well, I I could use the Raymond the Technomarter instead. If you want to take a grievous off Pete. Yeah, well, I can't this time because I'm not next to it. What do you want to do, Pete? Shall I? Shall we? Do you want to hold out? Shall, I, shall we not do Stu? Because Stu could use the I could. could use his Raymond. I can do. He'll only get three. Di- he'll only get one dice next time because he's got three wounds. Well, I get two dice if he uses the Raymond. Oh, okay. I guess it makes sense because yeah, then you can okay. heal me. So I've moved there so I can use the med pack, but actually I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> I've decided I don't like Stu enough <laughs> yeah. to do that. It's just you're too hot, and uh, you're going to use your your Raymond of the Technomata to yep, remove. So I can is do it, it now, can't I? Use this card recovery step to remove one wound counter. Yes, yeah, so you do need to roll a Blackstone dice and so don't roll a one. Yep. 
four. Oh, it's a good job we didn't do that last time. Mm. Phew. Yeah, so it's juice. I'm down to two wounds. Yeah, as, as is Pete. So um, then we've got to we've got to put these out. Yep. For a new phase, new step. Okay, so let's see what we got. Hostile group twos at the end, followed by hostile group three just for them. Pius Vaughan's before that. Grek. Group one. Row 25, and right at the front is Shadow. Ha ha! Hurrah! Now there's okay. nobody alive. <laughs> density dice. The density dice, yes. how dense are we today? So we've got two, four, and a five. The threes yeah, match, so we have to throw them away. Two, four, and five. Okay. So now yes. we've got a roll for individual action, activation, whatever dice yep. you call them. Amalyn. Two, five, six, Now you're on sixes, now there's nobody to shoot. Okay, roll for Pius Vaughan. Ooh. We've got a one. Roll the other one again. Oh, three, 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 four. Three, four. three to four. Okay, so I'll roll for Ur twenty five. One, two, two, and five. And Dick Grick, so I only rolled two for him. Okay, they landed on the roof. But opened it up as a heliport. So now we start with the next round, so it's Amelin first. It is. Now are we just going to make a beeline for the... Um, Can we leave whilst the Urgle's here? Yeah, so. We might as well, because he's just going to blow himself up. Yeah, I don't but know. we won't be able to search his Oh yes, no, we need, to, we need to search his spot. Do we need to search that? Yeah. Can one of us swap with him? Because put him first, then he can blow himself up, clear the mine out of the way, and then we can go and do that out. Yes. Would it make sense if you did it? Because you've got all your dice... <laughs> You've got the best um, vital, uh, not vitality, agility, or whatever it is you need to roll. Yep, I have. We have. I could actually use an inspiration point just to do it, but that might be a bit overkill. No, I'd roll one. Okay, so you want me to do it? So no, I can only do it with the nearest. You only do it with the nearest. So complicated shenanigans here on the on the old initiative track. We're going to swap because we've got line of sight. Pius Vaughan and I. We're going to swap over because Amelin hates going first. She really loves going really near, close to the back, and uh, she's going to go back here. So that might seem a little weird, but then is that for that's for free, isn't it? That's for free. Line of sight. And then we want to swap Pius Vaughan with the Urgle so that the Urgle can run up here and destroy himself on the bomb, and then leave that open for us to go and investigate it. So I spend an inspiration point, and to avoid the rubbish. Um, Agility roll, uh, Stu is going to use his inspiration points. He's already inspired, inspired so it's good so. use for him to do that. Yep. So we can uh, do that, I hope. If there's any problem with that, I don't know whether you're allowed to do a swap and a gambit. I think you can do both, so I think, I think that's, that's all fine. Otherwise. So let us know in the comments below if not. So now we've got a roll for the Urgle. So the first thing to do is to do the reinforcement roll. Roll it, Stu, and don't get a three. Eight. Hurrah! Eight. Hurrah! Nothing. Okay, so now we've got a roll for his reaction on his behaviour table. He is still hidden at the minute. He's been sitting there for ages. So we want a, a ten high, or more, a high ideally. Number, okay. A high number. Fifteen. Fifteen. That is a charge. Whoa. So a charge is a move and then a move attack, isn't it? A uh, charge is move towards, then attack. If you can't attack, then move. Okay, so he moves three, so he's going to go one, two, three. He can't attack there. So he's going to move one more forward and go, bam and die. Sad times. Okay, so there we go. So that's him out of the way, and now we move on to the next one, which is Ur 25. Now, do we get him to use all of his dice and all of the Destiny dice to just try and get him there? two of them, but yes. Two, yes, sir. Okay, so he's going to use his three to go, dish, 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 and then use another one, use a two to go, dish, and then another one to go, uh, which one's that meant to be on? It's on the one nearest you. And then he's going to go, like, dish, to there. So that's him done, all spent and out of the way. And then we're on to uh, Group 1, which was that set of guards which already had so a reinforcement roll. So we really don't want another reinforcement roll for them. Reinforcement roll... Two. Ah! <laughs> it's two. Sorry. <laughs> so How many is that? Two is four. Oh. That's not quite so bad. No. Although oh, they are going to immediately don't start. Don't they appear at a portal? Yeah, which is here. Ah. Although, might they appear over here? No, because there isn't a portal over there. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that says something else, isn't it? Were they not like that portal over there in number two? <laughs> it's not very close. It's not close. But sadly, all four of them appear and, and can now take shoot, a pot shoot. shot. Shoot. <laughs> <at> Pies four. <laughs> two. Well, stop rolling so low. <laughs> so there's two guardsmen there with las guns. Mm -hmm. So they roll d8s. Okay. You want to miss with those? Yeah, you really want to miss with all of them, really. Hey, hey, just like that. Nice work. Now there is also a guy there with a pistol and a melee weapon. That's a d6. Oh, one wound. Now you need to take a vitality roll. Yeah. Oh, oh so that's another wound. <sighs> and then the last guy has a flamer. Which Robin, is... Robin has very generously put a flamer back <laughs> on the board. That was nice, wasn't it? So it's range <laughs> three. I'll so you, close you are you. close enough to get burninated. So okay, and um, what's the flamer again? And the flamer is a d12. Well, next time Stu rolls is a... Uh, yeah. Reinforcement roll. Zero. Zero. Actually. It's a good thing you weren't standing on the same hex because you get hit too, Robin. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good, good thinking. Yeah. Okay, so we're okay with that one at least. So they don't do anything else now. They've appeared. So yeah. you can burninate them on your turn, Stu. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Dan, Greg, I might as well go off down this way and start yeah. exploring this corridor. Okay. So he's just going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Three onto there for his two dice. There's a five over here. Oh, shall I use the five yes. and explore that one? Okay. So I'll explore that and get some discovery archaeotech. Oh, I've got secret coordinates. Oh, this card could be used as a clue card. No. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't that great. It's not called clue like the other clue but, cards, but, but it's just a clue. But it's just a clue. <laughs> so that's Greg done. <laughs> and now it's time to, for Amelin. So you probably in. want to take some pot shots at some people, don't you? I think I probably do, don't I? Because you could shoot a couple, and then you could move, and then you could burn and eat the rest, and then follow. Yeah, okay. So I've got a couple of sixes here, so I might as well use those, because uh, I can re-roll my shots. So I'll shoot at um, I'll shoot at the boss guy. Boss guy with a pistol. Yeah. So is that D12 with a re-roll? D12 with a re-roll. Because you... Bam! Takes his head off. This game's easy. He's just sitting there shooting them as they go okay, through the door. Okay, and I'll um, shoot the other guy. D12 with a reroll. D12. Bam! Okay. Takes his Come. head off. Okay, and it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's four. It's four plus my D12. So I might as well. Could I carry on? Or I've got, I've got one more. You D12 could use one, and then you can D move with the last yeah, one. Yeah, I've got one more D12 with a reroll. So I'll do one more D12. With so that's your five. Yep. Yeah. So another D12, D12 uh, Stu. Another crit would be nice. Called it. Flame or the other guy. Right, next time I go to the Grand Clash, I'm taking Stu <laughs> yeah, just to roll my dice. I take the flame Can I have three crits, please, Stu? <laughs> uh, and then I'll just move three. One, two, three. And I get to make an inspiration roll. And you I do? just need a six. Just a six. And a six. Five would be nice, Stu. Now you high. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really moan. No, not really not after that. <laughs> okay. So, so hostile there. group three. Hostile group three is next. Reinforcements. Or high. not. Very high number. Four. Four. Or so not. <laughs> oh, no, four plus is nothing. Four plus is nothing. Perfect. Oh, Lord for that. <laughs> so, there's nothing there. Listen, I've for God's sake, shit. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's group three. No, nothing to go on there. And so then it's really all just kill. Lost. Uh, you've, oh, you haven't mm. got a, you haven't got, you haven't got a, I haven't got a cleansing flame. Well, actually, you can just run away. Well, I can use the vindicator flamer. It's two to three, which is yeah. Well, they yeah, could one, shoot at us. Two, three. So I've got two d eight. Oh, okay. Well, I can oh, probably you're, you're, with that. You're, you're quite. I um, use the d three. Quite tough now, aren't you? So oh, you're using the three right. dice to roll this one. Oh. oh. Rubbish. You're rubbish at rolling dice. Shall well, you I could just use the four as well. You might as well use the four, yeah. Okay. Try well, hopefully again. next time you'll go first. Yeah. Oh, Burn an Asia. Oh, well, you and can then you can roll a d20. Get a two, one or a two. One another. or a two and you get another inspiration point. No. 15, no. That's it. That's that one done. So in the recovery step, oh, not the recovery step, in the event phase, Stu, you can use your Raymond and the Techno Martyr again. Which I will take and one Don't off. get a one. Don't get a one. Nice work. So, do we need to roll out to see if anybody turns up? No, now we do a event roll. Oh, okay. Which could be. So, uh, it's a d20 not again. Not dead yet on a four or a six. Four to six. 
10. We're okay. 10, I think that... Oh, changing conditions, draw an encounter card. If the card has a twist, it applies for the rest of the combat. If not, there is no effect. What have, you, what have we got, Stu? We have encounter. There is no twist. Or is that a twist? So there is a twist. It's Noxious Fumes, which is yeah. what happens if you play with these guys in the garage. Uh, in the event phase, after resolving the random event, which we've just done, roll the Blackstone dice for each explorer and hostile. On a one, the explorer or hostile suffers a wound. No. And that remains in play now till the end. Till the end. Now, I guess we do that now because we have just resolved the yep. okay. dice. Right, so, so I'll do so me first. You first. So Pius gets a 16. 16. Okay. And then we do the crew next. Crew. He's right. Hello. Ah, two ones. <laughs> Amelin. 17. 17. And the robot. Is the robot immune to noxious fumes? No. Nope. Well, yes, he appears to be because he rolled 12. <laughs> I feel like he should be. He doesn't have any special so abilities. Back to the beginning back again. The beginning. Okay. The beginning. So we've got to roll for Destiny dice and stuff like that. A six and a three and a two. Going okay, to roll for the rest of the people. I'll do Ur twenty five. And I get two, three, four. Enough to move him along. And I roll for Greg, who only rolls two dice. Great, right, three and six. Probably should keep the two, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, so over to you. I'm thinking about it, you shouldn't have gone down there, really, should you? No, I'm just thinking about it. It's going to take you a long time to get back. Two, four. Uh, sorry. Two, two, four, four. Two, two, four, four. Uh, I guess you can use these. Two dice for Pius. Two and a four. Two and a four. Okay, so let's see what the order is of action. Pius is last, followed by the Grek. All the mobs in the middle. in the middle. First again. Okay. Do you want to swap so you can get out? Who, me? No, Amelin and Pius. So you can actually move away because then. Oh, yeah, because I've got fewer movement. Yeah. yeah, if you're although, happy with although that. they'll come over there now. <laughs> so they won't put come Greg, here. Put Greg at the front then. Put Greg swap Greg. No, because he can't see you, so we can't. That's a good point. Poop. Oh, well. Just have to just leave it as okay, it is. Okay, leave it as it is then. Well, I'll, I'll swap. I will swap with okay. Pius. So, say what you're doing. We're going to swap Pius and Amelie, and they can still see each other. Pius then can move down further away in case any reinforcements more come. Guards, oh, more guards. Than although, time. they will return up over near Pete, so I don't know how useful that is, but you can at least get down out of the way. That's true. Okay. Um, if should anything happen. <laughs> so I use my first dice to move three. I'm heading to the exit, Pim. I think so. Right away! One, two, three... And um, second dice the same? Yeah. Yeah. Run away! I can't quite reach. Could you. Uh, so you can go one, two, three to there. And no, do you want to use one of the Destiny might as well dice? Use one because uh, Pete can only use two. So Shall I yeah. move on to the three and search it? We haven't searched it yet. It's up to you. you haven't, we haven't said you can't search it. Oh, because I haven't got. Because you haven't got enough things. So maybe I could. Maybe I could. Yeah, that would make more sense. You could just move towards the thingy. Okay, shall I use the two of the Destiny yeah. dice? And go one, two, three. Okay, well, you're first in. I'm safe! Okay, um, so Pius 40, 40 has no. just, amount, just about made it there. Okay, Ura 25. Ura 25 is next. Pile in. They're just going to go one, two. I guess I'll use two of them. Okay, put them on Overwatch. And I'll use the, yeah, I've got four left, so I'll put that down to three and put them on Overwatch just in case any guards may have to turn up here. Yeah. Uh, reinforcement roll for group three. Don't do it. 17, get in there. And then a reinforcement roll for group one. Don't <laughs> 19, excellent. And a reinforcement roll for group two. Don't really do don't it. do it. No! So <laughs> two! How many Urgles are there? Uh, uh, how many are starting off with three? So it's three back. <sighs> Urgle, Urgle, Urgle. And they're going to attack you. Oh god, I think Greg's dead. <laughs> I think Greg might just die now. <laughs> <laughs> Disaster. Okay, so each of them makes a frenzied attack <laughs> the claws and talons, which is 3d8. <laughs> each each one. Each of them. Each, each one does 3d8? Yes. <laughs> so, first one on Drick. There's a crit. Just a Grievous. <laughs> Just a Grievous. Oh, that's good. 
Um, so I'll try and stop that with the vitality roll. So I need a D8, please. That's oh, right, D8. Yeah. So here comes the. Here comes the. Oh no. Okay. Okay. That's one grievous on Grek. Grek's grievously disgruntled. Second one. There's another grievous. I roll again. Nope. So he's taken two grievous wounds. <laughs> so if you take, basically, if you take this one, you're dead. Which actually, this actually makes me wonder about the dice roll. But anyway, I think. Do I get, is he dead? Yeah, because you haven't got any more. Oh, I see. To put okay. It on. So the last one, I have three grievous and a regular wound right now. So another wound on him, and he is out. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> they all miss. I think so. So okay, yes. basically, you are living a charmed life. I am right now. So you can move away. I think I might. I think I would. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. So is that there go? So that's there go yeah, done. There go, yeah. And I'm on to Grex go. Yeah. So I'm going to use one. I'm going to use both my dice, the three and the six, and I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And, you've got and two I'm going to use the dice. three and the six from the Destiny pool. I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Run away! So that's all them dice used. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to move that way. Just gonna run, yeah. Just wanna. So I gotta go I'm this gonna, way. Was that no? I got it. I'm found it. Just, just <laughs> no. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna one, go one, two, two three. Like, one onto the one, onto, no onto the three. One to the three for yep. the second dice, and then I'm gonna use, use one of four my fours to explore. explore, and I get a clue. A clue. Blues clues, and then you've got one final four. One final four. You go one, two, three to there. Well, do you want me to wait? No, because I've only got a turn. They're not going to catch up okay. with me. They're not going to catch up with you, are they? No. No. So, okay. Oh, or do you want me to wait? No, I tell you what, I'll stay here. I'll stay there. And then I can. Uh, I will give you this med pack thing that I've got. And that just wipes them all off. Oh, uh, that will be good. Uh, yeah. That will be good. Yeah. So, so I'll stay there. All of them or just three? All of them. Remove all wall counters from this explorer. Good job we didn't use it last time. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why. Does that include <laughs> grievous wound counters? It says remove all wound counters. It doesn't say... I don't know. I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just says remove all wound counters. It doesn't differentiate. But well, let us know in the comments if you feel that Greg doesn't shouldn't have had all of his grievous wound counters taken but off. But frankly, him. it's our game. So <laughs> you. <laughs> Do leave a comment below if you don't think that the medikit should allow you to remove grievous wound counters and poor old Greg still is near death. It's not uh, entirely clear. I think I feel like it would say it will at least it will at least remove yeah, one. I feel like it should now. say if it doesn't want you to do grievous wound counters. Yeah, like wound counters are not but grievous. we'll find out. But in any case, the one thing I like about cooperative games is if you all agree, you can. Do <laughs> so uh, yes, I'm going to do it anyway. So that's the end of that round, and then we move on to the next part, which is the random. Uh, the random bit where Stu doesn't roll a, a, a number that we don't want. Oh, when do we roll for the wounds with the poisonous gas? After this bit. Okay, cool. Okay, so what are we, we rolling? Just something high. Two. <sighs> oh no, it's alright. Unfulfilled destiny. Do not make a destiny roll at the start of the next turn. Hurrah! And now you have to roll for all the poison, so you have to roll for... Each of the Urgles. So Rog, can you, we've got two Blackstone dice, I think. We do. So roll two Blackstone dice for each of the Urgles. So what, they take a wound on? A uh, uh, one. They're all okay. So roll another one for the other Urgle. Yeah. And roll one and another one for Pete as well at the same time. 16 for the Urgle. And then one for Grek. Oh, that's okay. And then roll two more. Well, roll one at a time, actually. So one for Amelin. 14. One for Pius Vaughan. Seven. Seven and one for her twenty-five. Three. Hey, not very poisonous. This gas. So on to the next round. So this is recovery again, isn't it? Yeah. I'm I don't think it matters actually. I don't think there's any need to lay it out. I'm going to use the okay Raymond the Techno Master to remove another wound counter. Nine. S nine. So I've got a bit of right there because yeah, I'm also going to use the hospitalist med pack on you to to remove all your. Ray, Greg, not nearly we'll dead again. They suddenly woke up. Oh, I feel much better. Yeah. So let's t put these out. I think, it, I think it's largely. I oh, know it might not be relevant because we might get reinforcements. Might end up with reinforcements, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Greg's last. Vaughan. Second to last. Mm. Oh, the nearest portal is way over here, so again, I don't Hostile. think it's going to matter. In fact, that one might even be. That's closer. probably the nearest, I yeah. think. So we're probably okay anyway, but we'll go round. In um, fact, so if we, oh no, we got two of us. Like I say, we could swap, but we can't. No. So, 
Doesn't make much odds, I don't think. So do we no. not do a destiny roll this time? Correct. No destiny roll because of the previous roll that we had at the end of the last phase. So no destiny dice to be rolled. So no. we're just rolling our action dice. Yep. So I'll roll for Ur 25. Not that it matters because he's just going to stay put. Emmeline. One, three, five, and five. She will need some. Group next. One, six, one, and four. Uh, Pius Vaughan. Vaughan. One, two, and five. Cool. So then we move on to the round. It's Ur 25 first. He hasn't got anything to do. So we skip over him and go to um, group one. Hostile group one. So it runs like really high, Stu. That hasn't... 19. 19. Beautiful. Right. Hostile group 2. So they will do something. Oh, yes. What do they do? So we've got roll d20 for them, Stu, for the first one. 1. 1 he holds. Brilliant. Next one. 17. 17. So he does charge. So he's going to effectively go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then the last one on there... 20. 20. <laughs> so he rushes. So he moves... One, two, three, and then he takes a charge action. Which is going to move one, two, three. One, two, three. And then no, and move again. And That's then one, two, three. <laughs> very, very, nearly, <laughs> very nearly made it. <laughs> very, very nearly. <laughs> so, Amelie next. <laughs> you could possibly move, shoot him, and run off again. No, I'm not going to. But it's probably no easy point. just to move on. No, to no the point. You're not going to fall and break your neck or anything, are you? So, I'm just going to use my dice and move into the. <laughs> thing. As long as you've got enough dice to actually yep. start the thing off, which you have. And so. then, uh, see, so that's your turn down. Then, hostile group three, four. four. That's nothing. That nothing. Excellent. So then we're on to uh, Pius Vaughan, who's already ready in the space shuttle, waiting to leave. Okay. okay. Can um, I use one of these dice to try and heal? Yes. Yep. So I might use all three of them to try and heal. Okay. I'll use the one to make a vitality roll. Done. That's it. That's done. Cool. Yeah. Take the wound off. And then nothing Brilliant. more, and then it's Greg's turn, and I'm going to use one dice to go one, two, onto there, and I'll use my six to jettison us out into space. Hang on, mate. Flee! <laughs> <laughs> I press the wrong button! I hit flash, not launch! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, that, that was, was that actually going to be really easy. And that it just was, start it with nasty quickly. Didn't it? I mean, oh. Pius Vaughan was over there burninating <laughs> the village. So she was taking out whole platoons over there with a the flamethrower. That was mental. And then, and then it things got, suddenly got very hairy. The yeah. gods give and the gods take away. Emperor preserve us. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, I've seen some people. I've read some things where people online are playing and they said it's really easy. We just kill everything. And I think. 80 odd percent of the time you do just kill everything because you get to go first and you yeah. use all your special abilities and you just annihilate everyone but if you don't kill everyone mm. especially these Urgles yeah. they can really upset the balance well, really they're, quick they're also they're more dangerous so in some ways when they re when you have reinforcements because they're not there so you can't shoot them and then they are right, and then they reappear. And yeah, they attack. <laughs> and, and, and immediately attack, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm not sure why the Urgles attack is one dice on their card, but it says they roll three dice. I guess it's because they can use one dice to attack the first person, and then they can attack yeah. other people with the other dice. Although generally, you're always going to focus on one person to kill them before you move on to the next, aren't you? But anyway, it doesn't matter because they didn't kill us in the end. Yeah. Although they got pretty close. So, guys, do we want to have one more exploration on this turn? That's we've had three, yeah, three this turn. We basically now we can either go back to precipice, or we can keep going to get more money. We haven't got that much money this time. I've got two. I've got two architect here. Okay, I haven't so found four. anything four yet. Four money's not bad actually. It's <coughs> about stuff. what we got last time. So what's the next? Should one? We do one more exploration. So that's that level done, Robin. What are we going to do next? We're going to take an exploration card, Pete, Ooh. to explore further into the. So to either take Blackstone an exploration Fortress. card or go back to the. Um, or go back, back to precipice. Back to at which precipice. point I presume to become D inspired. Yes, D and D inspired. So we might as well grab a card. And what is the card? It's no backing down. Ooh. Shuffle the explorer history cards and deal out two. Place those explorers next to each other in, in the order in which the cards were revealed. Each explorer either attacks or backs down. If the attacker, if the explorer attacks, they must take one weapon action using it to attack the other explorer, as if they were adjacent and invisible to them. If the, if the explorer backs down or is out of action, the other explorer wins the challenge. So either we can fight to the death, or one of us can just back down and the other one gets some treasure. And then we'll share the loot. Yeah. Well, well the two are... A bit open to... Yeah, this explorer that wins the challenge receives a discovery card. I guess, no, I don't really understand why it is a cooperative game. 
it seems a bit odd to me. Yeah. But we could do it that way. So. Well, the two are Ur-25 and Pius Vaughan. So oh, I guess they're, they're rubbish two to have it, because neither of them re- does, does, does neither of them require an artefact to um, to uh, inspire. Never mind, that's a shame. Oh yeah, his his is during an expedition slay a spindle drone with a power claw yeah. attack. Because I think people like Amelin, who well, I suppose you about artifacts, they're in there. I suppose you could take it and give it to me. <laughs> so that works quite well. Yeah. Okay. So Ur twenty five and Pius Vaughan fr- um, square up to each other for a moment. Then Pius Vaughan remembers that one of his laws of robotics means he can't hurt her. So he then uh, just sort of deactivates, mm-hmm. and, and Pius Vaughan now grabs a rummage through the bit. The discovery deck, so you could take whatever you like. If you did find a uh, um, remnant of the fall, I'd pay you handsomely for it. And by pay you, he means not do anything differently. So, what have you taken, Stu? I've taken uh, what looks like it could be very useful remnants of the fall, Amelin Shadow Guide's secret agenda. Oh, I'll pay you handsomely for it. I'll give you two Archaeotech. Yeah, that's very kind. It's only worth three. But uh, we're all on the same together. I think, oh, I think oh, we can do that. Is that how it's supposed to work? I, think, so, I don't know how it's Oh, so this raiment costs five yeah, architects. Yeah. Ah. yeah, I think that's how it's meant to work. So I think you can use this as three architect if you want to. Basically, now this means I'm in, I start inspired. So you're always inspired with that, presumably? Yeah. That's helpful. Okay, so we're going to go back to Precipice and spend our loot. I think we've got four treasure to spend, which can actually equate a bit more if we spend it in our own ships, um, which is quite good. So cool. we've got enough clues now to definitely explore one of the strongholds, I think they call one of the sort of set-up things. Mm-hmm. To, to That's where we might come across some Chaos Space Marines might, and stuff so like that. Yeah, handily timed to the fact that I have painted nearly everybody Hurrah. required, so that's good. So if we are going to go back to the precipice, then we need to take a legacy card because we are getting one step closer dun, dun, to dun, being, dun, dun, dun. being failing. And we have got... Spindle nanovirus. Ooh. Don't like the sound of that. Bless you. A fortress upgrade. Roll the blackstone dice before an explorer uses the support ability or facilities of a spacecraft. On a 1, 10, or a 20, the support ability or facilities are malfunctioned and cannot be used by anyone until after the next expedition. Nice. So basically. On our next expedition, yeah. our support craft things might yeah. fail us on a 1, 10, or 20. Yeah. All of so everybody around me is texting finished in the fortress darling coming home soon <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this one then I guess we shall see you soon in the Blackstone Fortress and we will be storming the castle effectively we will have fun storming the castle Hooray! Hooray! bye, bye!